Pop culture loves to portray men as being very simple and shallow, like we'll get together and we'll just talk about sports all day. We'll never get into anything about our personal lives. And I guess women don't realize there's a reason for this. From birth, it was my understanding that the most noble thing you can do as a man is not be a burden on other people. It's not a burden to talk about sports or video games or Warhammer figures, but it is, in our perception, a burden to talk about our jobs, our relationships, and so on. So the arrangement you wind up with is, because I like you, I'm not going to burden you. Hmm. I just mm. do Odd. not buy that at all. Is that a life lesson that you all learned at a young learned, age? I think it's in the culture. I no, think it's the culture to saying... not be a burden on people and to mm. be not to, I think, we see it on our show sometimes, like mm. not being vulnerable. Mm. Don't put too much out there. But is that a burden? That's not manly. Th that's well, it can be. I mean, if you're like sharing, you know, you don't want to bother people. You know, you don't want to be mm. a bother. I wasn't taught that way. Yeah, I'm not teaching my son that mm. way. But or I think my it's definitely in the culture that men you just take care of business, mm -hmm. not in touch with mm -hmm. their feelings. Is it right? No. I'm just saying I think that's definitely in our so culture. So do you think that it is men passing that message along to men. I to think their... some, but I think it's mostly the culture. That's what I'm, no, it... but I mean, the culture is made up of men and women. So yeah, I, don't is know if, it... I don't know if dads because... are teaching their but... kids that, but I think it's in the culture that, oh, if you want to be, you're, you're not being a man if you're crying. Yeah, yeah. But like I feel like I hear that from men saying that to other men. I don't hear a lot of moms saying, stop crying, you're a man. Yeah. I don't hear, I don't you're hear. Man up, be yeah, a man. But, yeah. who, but men are saying that. I think it's like subconsciously though they're not like they're, they're not actively being like don't express your emotions son it's just kind of mm -hmm. like yeah tough it up man up like, what, what you crying for like and who mostly says that i guess men yeah i mm -hmm. guess mm -hmm. so it's the men who are sending that kind of message and perpetuating it y you know what i mean yeah i mean if you want to yeah. bash men this whole I'm segment not, that's i'm fine. not i just no, don't understand it at all it. yeah of course other men do say it like, yeah. hey, hey toughen up mm -hmm. what's wrong with you man or, up. like you men when you're t let's just say you for we had a great example today you shared a vulnerable moment where you're crying in your bathtub listening mm -hmm. to beauty and the beast and <gasps> jason immediately starts laughing uh, first of all i want to say this i want to say this out of context I but it's not, it, yeah. it's not. <laughs> yeah. and second of all katie thought it was weird too you said i got mm -hmm. the bizarre from when you said bizarre. I didn't know the hell. Do not try to. You are rewriting history, my friend. The second that Jared played that song, you burst out laughing. Yeah, it, I it did. Was on that two was seconds. not but me. You did say you did say before that was, how weird it was. Because we know Jared. Exactly. And we've been saying that forever and ever. Exactly. The man was sharing his vulnerability and this moment that he had. And you immediately, because you're uncomfortable. Took a dumb not uncomfortable. I thought it, like you said, it is weird. It's because Jared. <laughs> No what you do. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Jared sitting in his bathtub on uh -huh. TikTok in a bubble bath with the Jets on, crying to this song is weird. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> why is it don't weird? Don't bath shame me. <laughs> you <laughs> said it was weird too. Musical shame me. But why uh, is it? But why to <laughs> you is it weird? Why to you is it weird? It's probably the same reason. I already, <laughs> I already I said. I think you both think that me taking a bath is not manly. So I'm getting it's from both of you. It's just an odd scene. The whole thing is odd. It's not a pretty scene. I don't like to just think of you sitting in your own human stew. Like, hmm. that to me grosses you take, me out. But you take baths, don't I you? Do, no, not as often as I would like, yes. Yeah, but you take baths. But I do. The thing I said that I thought was weird is that even in the bathtub, he can't get off his phone. Right. He's you on did TikTok. say that, but you, you, you referenced the whole scene being weird, mm -hmm. and I was like, that's when you're like, yeah. I was like, it is. It's mm -hmm. the, then like when we cry, anybody cries. I know that you like kind of clam up. Yeah. You know, you don't like to talk. You even said you didn't have a song that you cried to because you don't cry. I don't. And you're really proud of that. Cry. Like you, 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 you rushed in here like I don't have a song I, I cry to. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> yeah. But as far as the scene of Jared, it's not because it was uncomfortable. It's just so weird to me. I do think the culture is changing i think that sure. sharing men sharing their yes. emotions is becoming much more acceptable right by everybody than mm -hmm. it used to be and i think women say they like it but i still think a part of me thinks they really don't when it actually happens that's true when you're being very vulnerable i no, think they start putting you in who like it is. Uh, yeah you it your depends. husband maybe but like you're, you're not the protector like, uh, anymore yeah like yeah you're the weak you're no, the weak, you're if, being weak. no it depends on who it is because yeah. yes if it's my husband i want him to open the up to me like that right um if it's you know hugs that one time who was crying hysterically because somebody broke up with him yeah you don't yeah you don't have a relationship like that with him i don't 
Yeah, yeah. I, I think you. there's one thing if you're crying at a funeral, you're crying mm-hmm. over uh, something sad or somebody, unfortunately, something horrible happened to somebody. Mm-hmm. But I think the everyday crying over situations, if, if men cried as much as women cried over all of the everyday situations, I think it's not attractive for a lot of women. But, well. It's subconsciously, I think, oh, God, what a. Uh huh. Get it together, man. Yeah. Up. The difference <laughs> yeah. is exactly. women will maybe if they and I get fr- when I get frustrated, I cry. Men just punch stuff. And that is just as wildly inappropriate as maybe a woman crying at work. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, so I don't it's think just men like, punch. Every, I think women cry more than men punch. There's stuff. only one person in this building that's ever punched something. It's Jason. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't lump us in with Jason. Uh, Matt is has t- testicles and a penis. So does Squid and so do I. We you never punch. punch. He I have. Yeah. In mm-hmm. here. No, not at work. I'm talking about yeah. work. Because I can control but, myself. Right, but I have... <laughs> <laughs> Almost not when it came to Jared. <laughs> Almost does not count. <laughs> yeah. Almost that, that was very close. It was, this ain't hand grenades and horseshoes, <laughs> brother. Yeah. It was very close. It yeah. was within seconds. But see, I if Jared sensed said it. So, yeah. If Jared mm. didn't sense it and said that, uh, something different, <laughs> it would have happened. He would have punched me through the wall. But he did. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. he, he can control himself. Right. It would have been like the Kool-Aid man. Boom. Yeah. One time, I remember... Uh, <laughs> one time I remember Jared got really angry and I think rightfully so uh, really angry uh-huh. and picked up the phone and threw it across <gasps> the room so, so but like that's, wow. that's when uh, Jack Murphy was yes. here and that's uh, that's uh, getting out, out I easy I said rightfully so right. but what I'm saying is outbursts happen right and so a woman crying at work is an outburst happening yes you know and, and i was actually in the room by myself i told you about yes, that but, yes. but you know things like that yeah, happen sure. We're and human it's beings. like well, oh women are so unstable and then there's like jason punching walls you said that do i like i clam up if you cry but well, i will say this a lot of guys when women all of a sudden start crying it is awkward for them that's the truth. I mean, you even said it with the TikTok thing with the face. They're trying to make themselves look like they cry, and they're like, that's not what guys like to be in mm-hmm. in that circle with. It's, it's odd. they don't know how to deal with it. I, I only like, well, I, I think cry when you need to cry. Feel your feelings when you need to feel your feelings. Mm-hmm. 100% men or women for sure. Kids, everybody. I do not like when a woman's crying, and I don't know why. Mm. Because mm. then I don't know what to say, not to say. Do you put your arm around them? Do you not? Don't uh-huh. touch, what do you, what's <laughs> happening here? Now, if they're crying because we're watching a movie, and they're then I then I if I get, it, get it, I'm on board. Sure. When I get it, I'm like, oh, I I, I know how to handle it. That's yeah. what it is. When I don't know what's going on, I'm like, why are they crying? Uh-huh. What do I what do I do? Did, did I do something? Yeah. You know. Yeah. But yeah, men don't overall. Like I've there's certain friends that I know, and like, what? Oh, you know. Well, I was talking to a friend yesterday, my mm-hmm. friend Brady, and we've been good friends for a, a long time. We haven't had a chance to catch up, catch up, but we live in the same um, area, mm-hmm. and we had and I had a major thing that happened, like a purchase that I made with a house, and it's been a while. And he goes, "You bought a new house?" I'm like, "Yeah." He's oh, like, "When?" Yeah. He had no idea, and it, it goes right along mm-hmm. with what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. And my, and I'll say, my husband is the same way. He talks to his dad every single day, like eight o'clock every day. And I think that's a beautiful thing. They have a beautiful Mm -hmm. relationship. But I'll say, hey, what'd your dad say? Or, oh, hey, did you talk to your dad about blah, blah, blah? Yeah, no, I didn't think to to bring that up. (laughs) On the phone with him four times today. (laughs) Mm -hmm. How did you not? And it's just, you just don't think that way. No, it's different. Men and women, we think differently about some things, you know? That's good. We're equal, but different. And I'll give you an example. My wife and I have a good friend who got divorced about six months ago, and neither of us had seen him since his divorce. I went golfing with him last week. First time I'd seen him since then. I get back from golf and my wife goes, how's Gary? Hmm. I don't know. (laughs) 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 Oh, I I thought you were going golfing with Gary today. Oh, I did. (laughs) And you don't know how he's doing? (laughs) I never really came up. Perfect. Did you ask me to ask him that? <laughs> you know, I thought maybe you, you would think to ask him that. I didn't think of that. <laughs> well, is he dating anyone? I, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> How would I know something like that? Were you two in the same golf cart? <laughs> You're kidding me. 
you are in the same golf cart for four hours, <laughs> and you don't know if he's dating anyone? <laughs> I know he's got a new driver. <laughs> uh, that's the truth. Yeah. <laughs> How is that possible that wouldn't come up? How is that possible that would come up? Yeah. <laughs> at 150 markers right there, you're probably at about 135. Are you dating anyone? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Brian Regan's so funny. Great. Spot Rachel. on. Yep. Spot on. Rachel, what do you want to say about Jason Goodman? Oh, Lord. <laughs> I love Jason, but the Lord knew exactly what he was doing when he made him short, because had he had been any bigger, his lack of temper control would have been crazy. <laughs> It's been a problem, huh? Uh, when do you hear that I have a temper? <laughs> this must be an AML. You can't control yourself, your impulses. I love you, though. Thank you, but when have I ever released my temper on the air except for the other day? <laughs> the cameras except for this caught example it. of this example. When you almost said, gosh darn it, and mm. then when like you and Jared were having that pack cat fight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Mm. Yeah. Just two examples. Just two off, off top of her head. Mm -hmm. I always like people to name five times I did it in the day and the time. You're like, okay. I'm no, right. just looking right. for an example. I mean, yeah. I, you, know, you know, I do think it's like, I do. I know you're going to hate this again, but I do think sometimes, um, you know, Southern people, uh, and that's fine, have mm -hmm. a different culture. It's like where you originated from. Like, li what's the uh, comedian, Catherine Nacanapolis or whatever his name oh, is? Oh, Sebastian Minikowski. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I was like, that Jack that guy. That guy. I really thought that's what he meant. That's I knew that. what he meant. That yeah. guy, I um, still won't remember his name, but I really like him lately. And, you know, the, the point when he's like, he's over the top aggressive and he's talking about his wife isn't. And I think that kind of comes together. And it's like, to me, it's, is it a temper and it's over? But mm -hmm. you, it's like stunning sometimes to... Southern people. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I mean, since you brought it up, he does talk about the difference of him and his wife, and I think it's similar to what we're talking about. My wife's side's, like, really happy, and they encourage things. <laughs> <laughs> they work on their inner thumb. We work on our inner thumb. <laughs> <laughs> and I think his wife is from the South. Oh, is she? Like Tennessee or okay. something like that. Oh, really? I think. I don't do any of this. No therapy, no bettering. It's like, this is it. What are you going to do? <laughs> Change? <laughs> this is you. No one's popping pills on my side. Nobody's on antidepressants. My father's like, I've been depressed for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> my wife grew up with a mother that was more forgiving. This accidents happen. <laughs> <laughs> Just as long as you were not injured, we could always replace it. <laughs> Come home with a flat tire on my bicycle, my father would be like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see the nail. <laughs> my father was like, guess who's walking this summer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's great. That's, That's funny. true, too. So good.